I think it's a destruction of public and private property, so I'm against graffiti. You know, there's lots of mural and sort of artistic graffiti, and then there's lots of gang graffiti also. It's just who can, whoever can get it out the most, like whoever can be noticed the most. I've seen some senior citizens of about 80 years old doing graffiti. Some graffiti is art expression, but other people who just tag their names or tag for recognition, I think that needs to be taken care of. I'm, I'm with the Department of Public Work Graffiti Abatement Unit. Uh, in our unit, uh, there's two different sections we're doing. Uh, one is abating, uh, and another one is posting notice of violation to uh, private property. We got the mailboxes, poles, garbage cans, and uh, phone boxes. And all those uh, utility boxes that's in uh, public right away that we abate right away. We abate calls that come in within 48 hours. We're a small group in graffiti. It's not that many, and we cover 49 square miles of the city, and we don't have enough help. I got one crew in the financial district downtown, Chinatown, and all the way up to uh, Broadway Tunnel. And I have one crew that's mainly responsible in District C and F. Most of the graffiti we abate, everything is coming up to this area now. I'm willing to try to take it on. I, I think I. I so think you're I, telling me you're ready for this? I think so. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. We're okay, ready to Jonathan. Roll. Let's I think go. We're ready to do it. All right. Let's go. Over here, we're gonna get this gray sign, this gray pole over here, and the garbage can. And normally, we don't do private property, but since it's on the corridor route, you can come with me to remove the graffiti from the uh, private property over here. We're going to use black because that's the color. Okay. We have had a lot of changes in the graffiti unit. We do private property if um, someone has passed the 30-day grace period to have it removed. We actually go and remove the graffiti, and then we send it to the attorney's office, and then they take appropriate action. So it's real important that you put the drop cloth down so that you don't uh, damage their property there. And it's important to write the color, just in case they want to say what part of our house did you, uh, you know, abate the graffiti on. It's not just abate graffiti, it's a lot of safety stuff involved. Uh, you know, using your safety glass, the right proper glove. You got it. You know, some, some places we go, people appreciate, you know, we come in the public, the city coming out to remove graffiti from, you know, their area, they, they appreciate that. So, you know, a lot of times they'll tell us, hey, thank you. All right. And it's best to put the wet paint sign where it's visible. A lot of times people put it on the ground, but you know, if it's up here, then how can they see? I like it when tourists come and say, wow, you guys do this for your city and you get paid for that? That's wonderful, you know? We just tell them, hey, welcome to San Francisco. You can put that in the back. All right. We use the uh, seawall gray for the muni poles, for the retaining walls, and we use garbage can green basically for almost everything. And then we have white here. We use white on the fire hydrants. The firebox red here for the fireboxes. We have our um, Hanson Brown or Hershey Brown for the uh, PG&E pole, the wooden poles. We're not a professional painter. We do our best to abate graffiti out in the public. I feel very really satisfied, uh, you know, sense of uh, satisfaction for doing my job, and I love it. I'm assuming that it has a lot to do with, um, you know, the, the gang activity. If it's territorial, then I mind because it feels unsafe. In case. It's gang related and they're marking their territory. I would rather, you know, paint it over. For us, you know, anything with the numeric numbers like XIV, X13, or Sereno, Norteños, uh, West Side Mob, and the Bayview and stuff, those are gang related. When it comes down to gang related or any kind of profanity, even that's including private property, we will abate it as soon as possible. Some consider it an art. It is an art form, and I think there are circles of people that form around it. Whether or not they should ruin public property or private property, that's another question. If it's artwork, then I'm all for it, and I think it looks good. And unless it's, you know, on someone's property and they don't want it there. Some kid with, you know, silver paint expressing their ego needs doesn't belong on our property. 
art is more as an artwork. Graffiti is when you don't have permission from the property owner to put or write anything on their property. So 8th Street is part of your regular route? Yes, you guys, it's part of the corridor route. Every, every day? Yes. 8th Street, the Visadero Street, uh, Irving Street. Basically every block they go going through, they painting about three or four street structure in that whole block. Uh, you know, talking about the pole, utility box, uh, phone box, and uh, mailbox. Here you go. Would you like to try it? Sure, thank you. We can do the side you. over here. Okay. Oh. Put the drop cloth. Come on around. Come on around. I'll move the drop. Yeah, there you go. So we got to remember, we're not painters. We abate graffiti, and there's a difference, you know what I'm saying? So I want everybody to know that we abate it. We're not painters, so we just get it, get it out of the way and keep moving. Get, get just a little bit down right there. Oh, right to the bottom. Right there. Right there. So how many, how many of these do you do a day, do you think? How many poles we do a day? Yeah. It depends. It depends on the location. On the average, maybe 20. You like working in it with a team, with Absolutely. other people? Mm -hmm. Yes, because I'm a people person. Mm -hmm. I like being outside. I like um, interacting with the public. And I like the response that we get, you know, especially from the good job that we do in the community. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>